Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animosh and we are back with another state of the collection video. Right, so this is the part three of my um, the, a summary of what other watches that I've had for the first few years of collecting. But now we are to only talking about my Swiss made watches. Right, so let's start with number one. Oh, before we do that, let's do a quick swatch check today. I'm wearing my not a Swiss watch made watch. This is a <laughs> a Cistern, um the what did you call it 600t so basically an homage of a certain swiss made brand but i'm not going to be talking about that but yeah cool diving dive watch but still i i, I haven't done a full review of this particular piece so stay tuned right so let's start with swiss made watch number one which is this rado korean so i've got this somewhere in at the end of 2019 in november i think so be, just before the pandemic uh, hep starts and all hell break, breaks it break loose and yep um, I've got this in Japan um, on a on a flea market um, I think I've paid about hundred dollars US dollars at that point of time and yep it is still it is working great at that point time, but still I wanted to you know um, use it for a longer period of time that is why you know, I, I just want to keep this particular watch because it has that you know memory where I <laughs> where it might be the last um, you know time I go to Japan so I've sent it for service for and spent about another hundred dollars and yeah basically <laughs> after that I kind of you know stopped buying vintage watches because you know when you buy vintage watches so it is it is a minefield right so you sometimes you get a good one you get a uh, the nos version but sometimes you have to repair it right so in my case it is okay it was okay but there are some this dial you see the dial starts to flex out a bit so let's, let's just uh, confirm that you see the dial all these i think they are they are made from brass so the the coating on the dial somehow you know starts to peeling off so that is why you can see a bit of a gold color tone inside there so you know when i re when i've got the dial when i've got the watch so it, it's those flakes metal flakes uh, starts to chip out and you can see on the rado logo that there are a few right so it, it, the dial was full with those dust right so i i've i've asked this the watchmaker to service it and they've cleaned these hands here and you, that is why you can see that the hands are a bit um brighter compared to the indices and yeah that is the risk that is the you know the result of the service right so um i think this was a 37 millimeters in diameter you know what let's just quickly check that out i just can't remember because i haven't really worn this watch that much right so um oh that is 30s 5.6 millimeters in diameter so 12 mil thick and a very very short luck to luck of about 39.2 so that is typical of those you know those those old uh, uh, those old watches right so it didn't come with this um bracelet though i i, I the bracelet is somewhere but I, yeah i still man in my question i don't want to damage the bracelet and it's a bit too long and, and i don't want to resize it but I stay so I put it on this um, leather style bracelet so I have no idea what the movement was in this particular rado so if you guys know please do let me know in the comment section below right so you know what let's just quickly put it on Maurice and see how it looks like so just just let's just put the cistern uh, out of the frame because I don't want to put that together with a swiss made watches category right so 35 mil watch is okay for me so i just love this the, the, the design of this barrel shape design and yeah i think for a first for my first ever um swiss made watch this is a cool watch that will never leave my collection right so next up is a watch from ball watches right so ball is a swiss made uh, watch with his swiss made brand but it was originated from the usa i think from illinois illinois correct me if i'm wrong guys i just can't remember but of course the design right the design is a bit different compared to other swiss made brands and yep you can see that <laughs> who who does this right so three o'clock window date window and a nine for whatever reason do you really need to have this nine stamps uh, nine hour marker stamp there i just don't think you need it but yeah still it, it's 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 a bit quirky design right so it's it's a bit unique right so that's why it is not to the 
taste of you know everyone's just it's not everyone's cup of tea right so anyway um but this one has a 40 millimeters in diameter i think thickness is about 12 and 20 millimeters lug width and it has all it also has a a straight h link bracelet which is using a a butterfly class which is not to my liking and this one is a this is what they call this ducks unlimited version where we have the logo of a duck here right so basically this is for a uh, you know ducks reservation kind of support thingy i just can't remember what it was but this i think the watch is called ball fireman uh ducks unlimited right so nice and really cool looking watch that has 30 sorry 63 tubes of tritium right which <laughs> is crazy and that is one of the reason why i bought this particular ball but not the other other style of you know balls that I've, I've i i've wanted a ball for a very very long time and i bought this in somewhere at the end of november of 2021 as a gift to myself for a work uh, you know a not a f for a work for a job uh, for the performance of my youtube channel in 2021 cool watch but a little bit <laughs> different right so next up i wanted to you know try out the marathon the brand itself so i yeah initially i wanted to get their uh, gsa medium mm, yep i think it is called that yeah gsa medium uh that will cost about more than thousand US dollars, but it's a bit too much so i went for something much much more affordable for about less than 200 bucks i've got myself this gpq marathon right so it's and it is the smallest watch that i have in my collection 34 millimeters in diameter and of course this one is using a they say it's a carbon shell but you know what let's just call it a plastic case <laughs> right so and the luck width is weird at 16 millimeters but uh, you know what this is a watch that is used by the uh, u.s government and quite a lot of other um um force all over the world so if this is good for them why who are we to say that that is this is no good right so of course a military style watch with those tritium tubes at the hour mark at the each hour markers and those hands and uh, <laughs> yeah that is unique that we have that radioactive logo there right so awesome awesome piece but yeah might be a little bit too small for some right to 34 the combination of 34 millimeters diameter and also the 16 mil um strap with does make it a bit looks a bit too tiny but i don't really mind it guys because yep it looks cool right so Yep, it looks cool, right? So, and we, it has that, um, this, they call it the a high torque um, ETA F06 uh, quartz movement, but yeah, I'm not really sure whether what is the difference between high torque or non high torque, right? So, let's, you know, let's move on. Next up is uh, basically this one, um, I think I bought it somewhere around, um, I think maybe around April or March 2022, and after that, during my birthday, my beautiful wife bought me one of these um hamilton khaki feel automatic right so um <laughs> mm, yeah awesome watch but it is let down by that super duper high uh, re reflective and um christ crystal there right so yeah there is no ar coating whatsoever on this particular piece that is why you can see all the reflection that is available you can even see my face no 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 yeah not 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 yet yeah you can't see but yeah still i'm really quite annoyed by that by the non-existence of ar coating but still a great feel watch um basically if you want to start your collection with a swiss made watch i would definitely recommend the hamilton but only if you can forgive the absence of ar coating in that sapphire crystal right so yeah very very busy very very busy dial so um <laughs> you can see those concentric circle there at the hour markers at the hour, hour markers there it's quite a unique design and a base basically a classic design um you have super duper thin at about 11 mil i think so yeah 11 millimeters and you can see that h10 movement uh which is basically the um the 80 hours power reserve version of their of their ETA, ETA 2824 uh, movement and yeah this is the must have not really must have but like I said just now if you want some if we want to start your watch collection with a Swiss made brand don't forget Hamilton right so anyway so I've put it on this 
what do you call this um, Italian leather strap from Vario Singapore and I think it looks cool right so what do you guys think and of course this strap oh sorry this watch is a strap monster right so you can throw it on <laughs> quite a different style of strap and it will work right so awesome awesome looking piece and definitely a must have in everyone's collection right so that is the Hamilton khaki feel automatic right so next up is this my first ever Christopher Ward right so this is the C63 Sealander 36 mil version so this is a limited edition of 200 pieces so I've got number 99 so I consider myself lucky because I initially I when I saw that they are launching this particular version I was like mm, I was I was toying between this dial or the red color dial and and at one point of time I th I see I saw that they have sold out when I I check out I see the website again the next day and I saw that there's only one left and I immediately jumped and yep I think for the money this is a cool watch so, so so basically this is the most expensive watch that i have right now right at the moment so i just can't go past that 1000 us dollars so this one about 800 or something like that so yeah cool case design like light, light catcher case light catcher case design um the movement is a uh, i think sw solita sw 200 and do you can see that it through that sapphire crystal case back right so and the front we have that flat sapphire crystal very very nicely thin 11 millimeters in thickness and of course it came on a bracelet but i put it on this um distress italian leather strap from vario again so thank you very much ivan for sponsoring the products but i would like to ask <laughs> um christopher Ward, hey hey guys so please please send your products to me so i really wanted to review um your products more than just one right so yeah but I just can't do that because these things are expensive, right? So cool watch, but of course it's some might say that it is a bit too small, 36 millimeters, but I don't really mind it guys because because I'm wearing 36 and 36. So this one <laughs> if you compare this two, they both have the same exact diameter, but somehow this this one looks bigger because of the dial, right? So yeah, anyways. Let's just check my latest acquisition D, my first ever Squale. So this one is the Y, uh, this is the 1545. This is the the latest edition. This, uh, I think this is a Norman exclusive edition where we have this unique, um, what do you call this, tropic style, right? So we have this gray and blue combination of ceramic bezel insert with that matte black dial and those um vintage looking indices right so yep it's it is a classic design we have a polish case um yeah 40 millimeters in diameter sorry the bezel is 40 millimeters and we have that huge uh, crown here with that van buren logo so awesome swiss made um watch but it is let down by a by quite a poor loomed um loom performance right so you know I'll, i'm just i'm going to be showing you that later so of course it didn't came with this particular strap so i bought it aftermarket and but i think it looks cool nonetheless yeah for uh, my first ever squally i'm kind of disappoint disappointed but i kind of you know know what i'm going into because yep it's not really the best right so let's you know what let's just do a quick loom check okay so i've charged it with my <laughs> what the my available lights so right now because i just can't find my uv light so yeah here we go see so three three to one and boom you can see already is the um of course you're not gonna have any loom on the vintage crane so yeah <laughs> vintage rather cranes but you can see that these two guys right so this um what do you call what do you call this uh this tritium loop there check that out guys i just love how the tritium tube looks on this particular um <laughs> ball you can see that we have orange uh tritium tube on the top of the clock so that makes it easy to know what is where is the 12 o'clock and yeah 33 63 loom and uh, 63 tritium loop looks really really cool and next up is the um, marathon gpq right so awesome awesome loom as well of course in this light in this video you can't really see how bright it is but trust me guys so once you are get you, your eyes get used to this to this tritium tritium tubes they look cool right so next up is the not really that <laughs> good performance by um 
by Hamilton but yeah still the like the hands the hands the look on the hands is good but not as good as you know as as those Chinese brands right so and next up is the most uh, powerful loom of them all this is the Christopher Watt C63 C Landa right so yep they are using that X1 super luminova something something and this is easily the brightest of them all and the most disappointing loom award goes to this Kuale 1545 which you know annoys me quite a lot but still I just love <laughs> these watches as it is right so as it is right so there you have it guys my collection of um, six uh, Swiss made watches up until 2000 and early to January 2023 and yeah what do you guys think what should I add next so I'm thinking of getting myself the um, uh, the seats the C60 Trident 300 right 300 Pro so I nearly bought that watch but because I don't want to have to exact same brand in my collection so i wanted to explore new things that is why i've got this quality but yeah kind of disappointed with this so this one might go and be replaced by that c60 c63 trident pro trident pro but yeah you will see we will see so what do you guys think and please do let me know in the comment section below if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye